Hi, I'm Dr. Carla Eisenberg and I am Research Associate from Charles Darwin University. And I have been working for the last six years with the pig nosed turtle, which is a really cool animal. And I think it's quite relevant to this course because, as you have been seeing during the course, the animals adapt to their environment. And the pig nosed turtle is very interesting because it has a very restrict distribution, but it's quite separate. It happens in the Northern Territory in Australia and also in Papua New Guinea. And the both environments are very different. So the pop each population of pignose turtle have to adapt to this environment. And one interesting thing is that they only nest during the dry season. In Papua New Guinea, the dry season is completely different than the dry season in Australia. It starts in October, when in Australia it starts in May. So these populations have to respond to these different dry season periods. And we are here in a sandbank and we know that a female turtle came here two months ago and laid eggs, so they are ready to hatch. But another thing that these turtles do is that the egg develop in two months and then they are ready to go. But on this case, they are not quite ready because they have to wait until the next flood. Because if they hatch right now, they will have to walk all the way from here to the water and there is a good chance that the predators will come. So they adapt to wait in the egg until a a heavy rain or a flood comes and that's when they pop out and very few species do that. You don't see that with sea turtles, you don't see that with fre other freshwater turtles. It's quite unique from this turtle. So let's have a look at this nest and see how this one is actually quite close to the water. The female probably is a new one and then actually the water might come uh, and flood before. They are ready but they were actually quite lucky this year. They the dry season has been quite long, so they are ready to go, but it's still waiting for the flood to come or the heavy rain. So let's just dig carefully here, because if you turn the egg, they might get stressed and pop out, or if they were not ready and you turn the egg, they actually die. So you can see here, this is an egg of a pig nose turtle. It really looks like a ping pong ball. And let's just go to the lab now and put this egg who is ready to hatch and you will see that from it it will come a very cute pig nose turtle hatchling. So we just put the egg inside the container as you can see. Uh, be patient, it will take a little bit for them to come out of the egg. You need to wait until the anoxia kicks in and then they will start kicking the inside the egg and coming out. Sometimes it happens really quick. In nature, it might take a few seconds and they will be out there swimming already, but because we are in a lab, it might actually take a little bit. The hatchling, as you can see, doesn't have a lot of grip, as in the, in the moment that it gets out of the egg, it can get, in the sand it will be easier for them to get up. Oh, look at that, now it's coming out. Oh, it's free! And now, it's interesting, they have the same behavior as the sea turtles. They have this little frenzy in the beginning where they go like crazy because there will be predators waiting for them and they just need to go as quick as possible, bury themselves. As you see in the next video, the turtles, the moment we release in the, in, the, in the creek as we're releasing now, it's actually swimming and it's digging itself. The moment it digs itself and it's just there, it's, the predators will not see them. And now, don't worry and see, enjoy this beautiful view because the turtle is safe.